What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I'm Clayton, and uh, you're watching DIY Clay 525. Today's race day. We are heading to Jefferson Speedway in Cambridge, Wisconsin for round five of the Madison Sports Car Club Autocross Series. Uh, weather right now, not gonna lie, pretty shitty. Uh, up here by me, we're about an hour and a half north of, uh, of the track. And she's pretty rainy and crappy, so hopefully uh, hopefully by the time we get there, the weather will be a lot better, because we are running slicks. So this is gonna be exciting. So if you could, like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Let's get right into that video. Woo! that I had ran so I'm going to kind of show you guys so good morning good morning uh, like I said we are on our way to Jefferson Speedway um, right now we are meeting up with Cindy. She's actually parked on the side of the road uh, just before we get on the interstate. I'm running a little behind. Did a little bit too much partying last night. Never good before race day, but it is what it is. Uh, so anyways, yeah, we're gonna meet up with her and then she's gonna follow us down. Uh, and then we're gonna meet up with Armand at a gas station uh, along the way. And then we're going to meet up with Olivia's cousin Tyler and his BMW uh, in Cambridge along the way as well. So, got a couple stops. Shouldn't take too long. There's Cindy. She's going to pull out. So, we're going to get on the interstate. That's where she works right there. Uh, get on the interstate here and we'll, uh, we'll keep trucking south pick up uh, Armin in about a half hour. Just uh, nabbed Armin here at the Loves. We're gonna jump back on the road. The weather is, you know, not looking too good there. But uh, yeah, we'll jump back on the highway and we're gonna be heading south, hopefully into some better weather. Uh, yeah, should be fun. So <laughs> we'll get back on the road. Just uh, got a message from Tyler. He's not gonna make it today. Apparently he had more fun than I did yesterday and he's not feeling too well. So fortunately, yeah, uh, he did a bunch of work on his car this week. Coilovers, uh, blow off valve, intercooler, um, intakes, uh, intake filters for his turbos on his Beamer. And he's not gonna make it which is really unfortunate. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll make the next one here. We got a month till the next one, so yeah. But uh, we're about uh, four miles from the track. So the weather's still really crummy, uh, drizzly, not looking too good. Here goes Chris. So we just got through tech inspection. Um, just kind of hanging out and waiting. It's raining right now, drizzly, crummy. Not looking too good for uh, for my tires for today, but I don't know. Hopefully uh, by the afternoon or something it'll dry out and we'll be able to get some respectable times in. But. Yeah, this morning I'll pretty much just be uh, go out and learn the track and drive around, but should be fun. So 
So we just got uh, done doing the track walk. Um, looks like a pretty fast uh, layout here. Um, probably faster than some of the other courses that they've had uh, at this location. So it should be really, really fun. The sun is finally now starting to pop out. So hopefully it'll dry this track out and uh, we get some good running in here. That weather does not look good. Alrighty y'all, we're about to go out for our first run. We got some cold tires, so hopefully we can keep her on at least two wheels. We just got done with our first run. We ran a 46.9. Uh, tires were super loose out there. I was literally skating and fighting it the whole time. Um, hopefully after a few runs they'll warm up and it'll get better, but I don't know how much I'm gonna improve with, with that setup. So yeah, now uh, Cindy's about to go for her first run. We're gonna have some fun. So we're about to go up for our uh, second run. Um, Cindy ran a 53. Uh, she hit two cones though, so she got four seconds added in. So yeah, we're gonna go out on this one, try and push a little harder. Hopefully the tires have a little bit more heat in them. Um, and then uh, be able to drop our time from a 46.9, hopefully down uh, low 46s or a 45 would be sweet. So see what we can do. There's no power steering here, by the way. We just shaved some time off we ran a 46.3 so we're getting lower there tires are still super cold but uh we're, we're definitely having fun now so i'm gonna go back out and do another ride along with cindy and uh give her some coaching and um see if we can drop her times so we ran a uh, 46.308 and sam aren't in the miata back there the red one he ran a 46.340 literally four thousandths of a second separating us right now so really close uh cindy ran another 53 um armand i think is running like upper 50s so he's got a little bit of work to do too he's still trying to kind of figure the track out this is his first uh autocross so he's trying to figure all that out but this uh weather today is very 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 humid and hot um i'm just hoping these tires come in shortly and at least give me some better traction than, than I'm dealing with right now. But it's, uh, it's definitely fun. Um, cars running great. So um, hopefully uh, things continue on an upward trend. Downward trend for times though. <laughs>
So we ran good on that one. Tires felt a little better. Uh, we ran a 45.4. So cut off about a second on that one. So hopefully we can keep the times dropping, maybe run a 45.0. That'd be cool. So we'll, uh, we'll keep pushing here. Sam is about to run his. Um, we'll see if he can beat my time. We, uh, we're damn close. He's, uh, he's a good driver. So, yeah. We are fit and set to go out for a fourth and final run of the morning session. I don't know how many runs we're going to get this afternoon, maybe one or two. So we're going to give it our all here. Um, I'm going to try and uh, maybe break it down into the 44s. That'd be cool. So I'm going to push hard and see what uh, the old Integra can do. Decided to give uh, Edward Coe a ride in the Integra. So we just ran our fastest time so far. We ran a 45.1. So we're getting uh, damn close to those 44s. Uh, Armin ran, what'd you run? A 40, I think he ran a 41 or, a, or no, sorry. A 51 or a 52, but hit a cone. So I guess he's just gotta get a clean run in. Uh, Cindy just ran a 51 uh, in her car with no cones. So yeah, we're just gonna get some food and uh, hang out and wait until the afternoon session starts. We are just uh, gearing up to go out for uh, the last two runs of the day for our afternoon session. Um, Sam is behind us by about two tenths. So uh, we definitely got to keep on pushing here. I'm just hoping that since we took such a you know long break, it's been almost an hour and a half, that the tires aren't too cooled down and we can't uh, can't make them hook up again. So it'll be interesting to see, but we'll uh, we'll get up there and see what we can throw down. For some reason, my GoPro decided not to record my first run of the afternoon session, but it didn't really matter because we didn't improve because our tires were extremely cold. But uh, Sam didn't improve also, so uh, it was kind of a wash. So we're going into our final run now. Right here in the slalom, I knew I messed up and ended up clipping a cone. So we ran our last run. We put down our fastest time of the day, a 45-0, but of course, hit a cone. So Sam is about to go. He's got one run left. Hopefully he hits a cone or doesn't go as fast. Little T here, he rode with me twice. He had fun. 
So we'll, uh, we're gonna record uh, Sam's run and we'll see what he does. We'll get, uh, we'll get Cindy's run here first. Sam's right there. Sam, the moment of truth. We're going to see what he runs. He got me. He got me by what? A tenth? Yeah. Yeah. 45 1. Yeah. Yeah. He beat me. Got me on the last run. Oh, yeah. That was exciting. Woo! Alrighty, y'all. Wow, that was a fun day of racing. Real close racing between me and Sam. Uh, Cindy and Armand, damn close racing. I think Armand might have just got Cindy at the end there on the last run. But uh, yeah, wow, it was a great day. Um, special thanks to the Madison Sports Car Club. Whew, man, I'm hot, sunburned. Can't wait to get home and take a shower. Uh, also, like to thank uh, GMJ Automotive and Full Bore Enterprises. So, uh, we got about three weeks, and we will be at Madison International Speedway for, I believe, round five. And, uh, yeah, I might have a video in between then, update on some of our turbo stuff. Thank you all. If you could, please like and subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Let's uh, try and hit that 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'd uh, be really appreciative of that. Otherwise, we'll see you in a few weeks at Madison International Speedway. Thanks, y'all.